Hello, welcome to another class of ratio and proportion series of India Edu tutorials. Previous in previous classes we have discussed some examples of ratio and proportion. Today also we will discuss some more examples on ratio and proportion. The first question is: Mary and Mike enter into partnership by investing dollar seven hundred and dollar three hundred respectively. At the end of one year, they divided their profits such that a third of profit is divided equally for effort they have put in the business, and remaining amount is divided according to the investments they made. If Mary received dollar eight hundred more than Mikey, what was the profit made by the business? So, let's suppose the business made. Profit of X. So, let's suppose profit was made of X. Now, this profit was divided on two bases. First base was that one third of this profit was divided equally between the partners, and the other two parts of the profit was divided according to their investment. So, let's find out the first part. So, one third of this X would be one third of X. This is divided equally. So Mary will get profit one upon third of x divided by two. That is one upon six by x. Similarly, Mike will also get one by six of x. Now the remaining portion of this profit, that is remaining profit, is equal to x minus one by three x, which is equal to two by three x. This is divided according to the ratio of their investments, and their ratio investment ratio is seven hundred by three hundred, or this can be written as seven ratio three. So let's find out that what would be their part. So the part of Mary, which is seven, will be equal to seven into that is seven is his part into total amount. Which is two by three x divided by the sum of ratios, just ten over here. This will give us seven by ten into two by three x. So this will be equal to fourteen by thirty x. Similarly, Mike's profit from this remaining profit would be three by ten into 2 by 3x, which is equal to 6 by 30x. Now it is given that Mary received dollar 800 more than Mike. So if we subtract 800 dollars from Mary's profit, that would be equal to Mike, and Mary's profit would be equal to this profit plus the share that they have divided equally. So Mary's profit. Minus eight hundred dollars would be equal to Mike's profit. So Mary's profit would be fourteen upon thirty x plus one by six x. That is this part minus eight hundred is equal to Mike's profit, which is six by thirty x plus his this part, which is one by six x. Cancel one by six x from both. 14 by 30x minus 800 is equal to 6 by 30x, which will be 14 by 30x minus 6 by 30x is equal to 800, which will give us 14x minus 6x upon 30 is equal to 800. Where it will be equal to 14 minus 6 is 8x upon 30 is equal to 800. Hundreds, right? So value of x is equal to 3000. So profit made by the business is 3000 dollars. Let's see another example. Next example is A, B, and C. Each of them. Working alone can complete a job in six, eight, and twelve days respectively. If 
all three of them work together to complete our job and earn dollar two three four zero what will be C's share of the earning so here it is given that A can work alone in six days and will complete the work so one day taken in one day A will complete how many work how much work would be 1 by 6 similarly in one day B will complete 1 by 8 of the work and in the same way in one day C will complete 1 by 12 of the work so if they are working together they will complete the work in all together and in the same ratio they will divide it so our ratio becomes 1 by 6 1 by 8 and 1 by 12 now if we will multiply this ratio by their lcms then it will not affect the ratio we have taught you this in our earlier classes so we take the lcm of the 6 8 and 12 and multiply it. The lcm of 6 8 and 12 is 24 and multiplying it we get 24 by 6 24 by 8 and 24 by 12 we get 4, 3 and 2. So that is 4 ratio, 3 ratio 2. So this becomes the ratio of their work. That is how much they work in a single day. And their earning is dependent on this ratio only. And we need to find out that what was the earning of C's part which is here 2 over here. So the earning of C would be. 2 divided by the sum of the ratio which is 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 into 2 3 4 0 which will be equal to 5 20 dollars so C's share in this case is dollars 520 remember what we have actually done in this question is that Key, they have given their total working capacity and how much time they take in completing our work. So we have find out their one day work so that a ratio can be created. From by finding out their one day work, we have created the ratios which is 1 by 6, 1 by 8, and 1 by 12. Then we have multiplied it by 24, that is LCM of all these three, so that our ratio becomes simplified, which is 4, 3, 2. And after that, we have find out the share of the C's part in this way. We will be back with more examples on ratio and proportion. For more tutorials, you can stay tuned with IndiaEDU.com.